what's up youtube welcome to all three garage and as you can see it's another video a different type of video and i'm going to show y'all these two cars that i think will possibly will break the market first of all it's an suv and also we have a wagon i love wagons um i just love it so much like the ctsv wagon um the mercedes e55 wagon the audi wagon i love the wagons i really do and hopefully one day i can own one um but i have shared these two cars on tiktok um and i got good uh people giving their reasonings um a lot of people say they need it asap a lot of people saying it will look nice in purple and also um people say they need hood locks on there look cool and then somebody said, you know, Mopar too cheap for that. Best you getting a new head and tail lights with a upgraded radio. I don't know what he mean by new head. I guess new headlights and tail lights. That's the only thing you would get. And then somebody said, yeah, we need a uh that. Also, they call it the new. That's the new Chrysler Pacific. And they say only if it comes. With a 6.4 or a 6.2 Hemi. Uh, what else? And then basically people was like, uh, so it's a Durango with the 300 headlights and a Magnum uh, with the same LOL. This finna flop. People saying wagging the world. Some, you know, saying sexy. And then I see another one. They saying it's trash without a Hemi. So, if any Dodge product that don't have a Hemi in there, it, it's not worth it. That's what you're telling me. So, if you have a V600, it's just a piece of trash. But if you have a Hemi or something in that thing, oh, yeah, you, you got something good. Somebody even said it was like an Audi a Q7 with a uh, uh, RS6 mixed together i mean i could agree to that um and then somebody said um uh, it will flop because the cars are uh, unreliable do y'all think chrysler um cars are unreliable y'all let me know down in the comments section below but would these two cars right here break the market would it be like another boom y'all let me know i think it possibly will like i will agree if it had like a six point four or a 6.2 in there it would sell but i would take the wagon over the suv the suv look clean as hell y'all let me know down below y'all let me know but i will show y'all the tiktok because i did save it on my phone so i will save it and i even post it as my uh, youtube shorts so i thought it was uh pretty uh, interesting and um cool uh to see uh people uh reactions and all that especially on tiktok you get a lot more uh, engagement and all that um but yeah y'all let me know will these two cars break the market or will it flop or which one would you pick would you pick the suv or the wagon me personally i'm going with the wagon um but y'all let me know uh down below uh the wagon kind of reminded me of like the magnum i always i want a magnum a dodge magnum uh with a hemi in there so it kind of reminded me of that but this is like a newer style so um y'all let me know but that's dodge so i mean it's the same thing as mopar and all but chrysler we speaking about if they were to have a wagon would y'all take it this is like the wagon look more like clean uh sleek elegant um the suv looks elegant looks sweet looks like he got a present and all that it's just something about it i don't know what it is but y'all let me know down below and uh stay tuned for another video we're gonna do is it uh worth it um a lot of people was wondering about them type of videos so i'm gonna try to keep dropping those also because i've been seeing a lot of cars and yeah man oh man Chrysler will break the market with these two babies here. You can't tell me you won't go on a lot and get one of these. You can't tell me. Man, look at 
the SUV and the wagon. Most def the wagon I gotta take. But man, these cars will break the market. Like Chrysler. Chrysler will break the market with these. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Do y'all agree or disagree?